Hey, what's up? This is Liam from Cancer Rest, and you're listening to Uberock. I've got Thomas with me from Volbeat. How are you doing? I'm good. You guys have just um, been playing on the Apollo stage, I believe. Yeah, I don't know. Did you? It yeah, yeah, it's just Apollo. Apollo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did, uh, hopefully you uh, had quite a big crowd. I know it was quite early, and um, there was a, a lot of rockers out there, though. Awesome. How, tell me, just before we get into it, how's Michael's health doing? Is he better now? I believe he's pretty well. Yeah? You Good. Know, this is the end of our festival run yeah. uh, this summer in Europe. Uh, so we got a couple of weeks to to recharge our batteries sure. before we go to America and Canada. So yeah. That's, that's pretty perfect. Yeah, cool. Um, so your album Beyond um, Hell Above Heaven, I think it's such an amazing, amazing descriptive title. So that's been out for almost an hour, a year now, and as you say, you're sort of setting off to America to do. A, it's a fairly big tour, isn't it? Um, is your focus still entirely on on Beyond Hell, or are there any plans for anything new coming out? Well, we got a DVD coming out in uh, October, I guess. Because mm -hmm. you, you released a DVD with Beyond Heaven, didn't you? I mean, Beyond Hell. No, no. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. There, yeah, was, there, yeah, there was like a, a, like a small like, like bonus thing uh, with like half the show. From, the passing from out on Holland. stage. Yeah, but yeah, I was just that. telling them about it. It was and amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the resurrection of Michael and all that. <laughs> but um, yeah, but this is going to be like a DVD product. So it's going to be like we recorded... We, when we did the tour after the album, we we did a show in Copenhagen yeah. with ten thousand people, and we had a lot of the guests who participated on the album uh, dropping by. So it was it was kind of like a really, really different thing from every other show we ever did. So we wanted to to, to catch all that on camera, mm. and and we did that. So people are gonna get like one of the big arena shows from sure. that tour, and then we we shot a show in San Francisco. Um, on the last tour we did, which is yeah, well, kind of the same tour, but yeah. if that is that it, like a, a thousand people venue, um, so 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 people actually on that DVD, or I believe there's going to be two actually, but it, they're going to get like two different shows, but from the same tour. Oh, awesome! And then I believe that we're going to see how much festival footage we can get our hands on. <laughs> it's okay. all about and copyright then put it all shit. together, yeah. Put some of that on, and I think also it's like. I'm not totally sure, but uh, so I might be lying right now. <laughs> but um, but we we normally record every every show we do like audio wise, and we we're looking into putting like besides from those two show and shows and two DVDs and some some backstage footage mm. and all that, we're probably gonna put on like a live CD, but awesome. with different with different shows Sh than okay. than are on the oh, DVDs. Okay. So people are gonna get like maybe two show two songs from some show in Sweden and two shows from. All in order to That's awesome. Like, yeah. So it's 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 gonna be. I think it's gonna be a pretty good thing. Like in between album release. Yeah. Um, okay. So. And um, you, have you started working on a new album or anything like that yet? I wouldn't say working. Yeah. You know, ideas start to pop up, and we've jammed a few things. But you know, we've been out on the road basically yeah, since we released time, the, yeah. the last album. And the last thing we want to do, when when we get time off. From touring is is actually getting together sure. and, and jam. So sure, we sure. want to see our family. So so if, you know, I believe that ideas are still gonna start to pop up. Probably doing this this America tour because we normally jam doing sound set, uh, sound checks and all. Mm. Um, I'm gonna try out a few things, but you know we're not in a hurry, as you said. The album yeah. is less than a year old. So. Yeah. And but of course for us it's like two or two and a half year old when we sure. since, since we started yeah. working yeah. on it so so it might be time to start thinking a little bit about it but we don't want to force anything so sure. it's just when it happens just go, it happens. Just go with yeah. the flow yeah. we're not, I think there's still shows to play so yeah so awesome we're, we're you've um, collaborated with some incredibly cool musicians in the past. What selection process do you go through in choosing them? Because uh, it's, it's diverse. I mean, you've got like King Diamond, you've got Napalm Death Dudes, I think. Um, is there anybody you haven't worked with yet that you really, really want to go after and get to work with? Well, there's always people that you, you want to work with. Uh, you know, we are all into music and we mm. like to watch bands. We like to, you know, that's the, that's a good thing about doing stuff like this, that we get to meet people that we had on our walls when sure. we were teenagers, you know, and hang out with them. Um, and and the way we select it, I'm I'm like it, it's all about ideas. And I think there's like two ways of going. There's mm -hmm. like one thing, one way is that you already written a song and you got a piece that you you think would fit for somebody, somebody. and okay. you reach out to those people. Or the other way around, uh, that you hook up with somebody at a festival or whatever. They drop by our show and we hang out and we're like, hey, we should do something together. Uh, that that was what so, happened with Barney from Napalm Death. Yeah. Was like. Well, we 
it wouldn't it be cool to do a song with Barney? And we're like, yeah, but what are we gonna do? So we're like trying to trying to jam like Napalm style, but with our sound and the That's way we amazing, play. Yeah. So that was like that song was pretty much written for him. And Miller from Creator was like that was that was more like. We actually talked about that like years ago that we wanted him to sing or play guitar and he was in for it. But yeah. suddenly we had a song. I was like, wouldn't it be cool if he sang that part? I was like, yeah. And wouldn't it be cool if Michael Denner of Merciful Fate and sure. King Diamond played some some lead guitar on that same song because there was like big parts with no no singing on it. So it's like, why not? And we reach mm -hmm. out to him. But mm -hmm. most of them we know. So we yeah. already know the the answer. When yeah, we ask. yeah. Of course, that's 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 how that's how it is with. Big, big questions in your life, right? You don't ask questions if if you if you're if you don't know the answer. If you don't know the answer, like, will you marry me? Uh, no. <laughs> like, do you wanna do you wanna sing on this song that we wrote for you? Uh, no, oh, no. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, 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 great. So, um, so you kind of check it yeah. out. Yeah. How does that work then? So, if if you if you've gone the process of specifically writing the song, do you guys just not cover that when you're playing live? Do you only cover it when they were around to do it? It it, it really depends. Uh, the song with Barney, we, we did that on on our tour in the fall, but we, of course, Barney Napalm Dead is, is always on tour, you know, uh, and we can't fly him in to sing for three minutes yeah, every night. Yeah. Uh, but we had Entombed on... Uh, yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah. All get right. get, get great, it in, get it in, yeah, yeah. Promote, Plug promote, for promote. Entombed. Uh, <laughs> and LG from Entombed, he got... It's not the same voice as Barney, but he got similar, some though, yeah. some of the same yeah. things going on, and we asked him, you know, would you be willing to do it? And he was, you know, he was. Uh, Didn't one of you do backing vocals on one of the tracks or something with, or when you played live, one of you does can do the vocal parts of it, but you can't well, do the guitar parts or something. Well, for that Barney song, actually, yeah. we did a demo and sent it to Barney, where Michael was saying he can do that growling yeah. thing, but he just don't want to. He yeah. he put you put all that behind him. And when we play the song where Miller is singing, I'm actually doing Miller's uh, uh, really, really German uh, thrash metal <laughs> vocals. But that's not. That I knew it was something like that. Yeah. I knew one of you sang when when you. Yeah, and be. I do it also. Yeah. I, I do some of the some of the guests that we got. If there are songs that we just gotta play, I kind of try to sing it because it, it gotta be some somebody else than Michael singing yeah. it, right? So that so that it sounds different yeah. you know but it doesn't matter if it's the actual guy doing it. yeah sound wise there's no other bands that really sound like Volbeat well, there's, a, there's a lot but we just blend it all together yeah I know but uh, <laughs> no specific one as in no. you can go straight away that's Volbeat um just how much further do you think you can stretch your own sound within Volbeat see only time will tell but I, I believe you know if, if you look at all of all four albums we did you know it's kind of it's like it's like we stretch it every Every mm. time we we do what we do, mm. that that we're like, I guess, looking back like retrospectively, the first two albums probably kind of created the sound. Like, and you know, it was always the first couple of albums. Well, well, they sound like a mixture between this and this and that. Yeah. And then suddenly you're on everybody's radar, and now it's like everybody knows you. Now bands start saying we sound like Volbeat, a mixture between Volbeat and something else. Sure. And so yeah. so people. People know what what the Volbeat sound is, so I, I believe, especially on the third and the fourth album, we could like instead of like we can, you know, we, we kind of had our sounds. We could start like trying to push the boundaries of sure. where we could go, like trying to do like a, a down tempo gospel song, try to do mid tempo classic rock stuff, do like a reggae thing, do. Mm do the Barney stuff like yeah. doing 80s metal like, yeah. like trying to see wh how would it sound like if you took your favorite band and put it into to all the Bobby Bobby sound, jamming yeah, yeah. Your, your sure um, musically as, as you say musically you cover a multitude of genres yet there's still some people in the rock and metal field that just don't get what Volbeat's all about how do you think or what do you think if anything um, could be done differently to please a mass audience, not specifically to you guys, but musically wise, what would you do to be able to please everyone in the rock and metal scene? You can't and you shouldn't, you know. If if everybody likes what you do, you're not pushing the boundaries enough, you know. Uh, That's fair enough. Talking about the Barney song, hmm. you know, I, I was really happy that that was a song that kind of divided uh, people's feelings towards the album. I remember there was a uh, journalist who wrote a review and said that song destroys the, full, the whole album and another one from another newspaper was like that's the best song on the album that's great because then you took it out where you challenge yourself yeah writing wise 
but also challenge to ever listen to it. Sure. And you know, if, if we were to please everybody, it would be really boring what we were doing. Okay. Yeah. Good answer. Uh, Good answer. Because what what you do, you know, if you want to please everybody, then you then then you well then then do a, a metal cover band, jam some Metallica and some and some ACDC. Not that they're bad bands. That told me. But, but do that or play all <laughs> yeah. the classic rock stuff, and yeah. people would be happy and they could drink their beers. But that's not gonna challenge anybody. Yeah. Um, and I like and like you know pe some some people want to say. Oh, I, well, now it's not I don't like your band, now it's like I hate your band. Because yeah. <laughs> the bigger you get, then people start hating. Yeah. And it's like, alright. Uh, and I'm like, well, that's cool, then buy something else. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, or I used to like what you do, but now it's too something something, and it's like, it's, it's my neighbor knows you, and now I don't want to listen to you anymore, <laughs> or whatever. And I'm like, well, that's, that, that's, that's fine with me. Yeah. You know? it's, that's yeah. how things work, and it's, it's alright. Yeah. Of course, it's, like, it's, it's a little bit weird. I, I believe there was one when our you know our crew bus uh, yeah. drove up the road in, in Norway on yeah. the tour and somebody gets back in our uh, in our guest book and writes you know oh fuck I hope it was the band and that everybody died and I'm like dude could you please send me your address and then, yeah. we'll, then we'll pay you a visit and we'll yeah we'll, it's we'll, just yeah we'll there's no need we, for that level we, you know it, it, we won't just talk to you we'll, yeah. we'll fucking punch your face in but but you know whoever wrote that, that in that, did you did you know he's on you call, call, call us up man and we're like yeah yeah uh, have a chat yeah. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah yeah but, let's go for a drive but, there we go because that's stupid you know i, I totally yeah. understand and i get you know there are bands that you don't really like yeah and it's okay don't listen to yeah, them yeah, then. yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. pretty easy that's and that's that's the great thing you know it's you know you kind of we all consumers yes yeah. you know yeah and you got you got a bunch of money and you can vote with your money you know if you mm -hmm. like Volbeat buy the album yeah and you know if, if Volbeat or Megadeth or whoever sells a lot of albums the labels are gonna sign more bands like that and you'll mm -hmm. get more of that music that you like if you don't like it buy something else yeah and, and the labels will go for that you know yeah they follow the money anyway so so that, that's that's great that we actually we can actually decide what we want. Sure. And, you know, if we don't want stuff, don't don't go for it. Yeah. No, I hear you, Thomas. Thank you very much. Thank you.